for the test purposes created a product in Odoo and let's click import product from external. We go to products and if you check there is one product that was automatically mapped by internal reference flip over because the internal references is the same. Click a mass action create products in Odoo. So all those products that were not automatically matched, they will be created. Go to sales products. You will now see that all products are created step by step. As long as job finishes uh, with all the images and attributes inside it. If I go to orders list, you see that there is a payment status paid or status unfulfilled uh, sales order. Let's go here. So you see that sales order is confirmed. And if you go to invoice, you see that invoice was actually marked as paid. So workflow has finished. Delivery. Let's uh, select a, a, a tracking reference. So, so for test purposes, we are adding it manually. But if you are using some FedEx or USPS delivery carrier, it will be filled in automatically on sale, on delivery order validation. So let's go, let's click validate, apply. And you see that status is fulfilled and you see tracking number. Let's go to Shopify. Let's find the test product. So here it is. This is a test product. That's it. Now let's go to sales products. Acoustic block screen. We click update quantity. We put 1000. Click apply. So now we have 1000 items on hand. Go to the product and you see that there is 1000 items available on hand.